guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the Homestead. Today, I am going to be removing some fence. Uh, you can see there's our pasture over there with the animals, goats right there, cows are over there. The fence we're going to be moving is this fence right here because our high tunnel is going to be going right over here. And the plan is it's going to go in on Monday. So today is Thursday, so four days from now, the high tunnel is going to be installed. Uh, it's from Nifty Hoops, which is right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. They make a really high quality uh, high tunnel from everything that I've seen. I can't wait to like see it in the flesh, but they're bringing it here. And I think it will be easier for us to install this thing if we've got this whole side. We don't have to keep going around the fence. So I'm going to pull this and maybe part of the fence on that side. We'll see. Part of the fence on that side. I don't know if you can hear me because I was turning the other way and it's windy. So we'll see what works. Um, I have for tools, I've got a pair of gloves, this fencing always requires gloves. I have my fencing pliers, you should always have a pair of these when you're fencing. And I have this tool, which wraps the ties around the T-post right here. This thing right here, this is how you do it. So I'm thinking I might be able to use this to kind of go like this and untie it. We'll see what works. Let's find out. First up, we have fencing staples, which are dug in to the um, post here. So I gotta pull those out like that. I'm gonna try to pick them up so we don't end up stepping on them or shooting them out of the, the lawnmower. But they just have barbs on them like this, and you just go like that and pound them in. So let's take them out. Also wasn't as bad so I'm gonna start working on the t-post now um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up with any help I got one little helper but um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the t-post we'll see how fast that goes and then if I get this done fast enough um, my wife has another conference call she's got to be on later tonight if I get this done fast enough I'll then do the corner post there's three more wooden posts down there and then I'll work my way around um, half the way hey, so we can get in and around both sides. Yeah, buddy. The golf cart isn't working. Uh-oh. I'll have to take a look at it in a minute, okay? Okay, so I'm going to try to use this. And what I've been doing is just putting this around here and then kind of using it as a lever to torque it, twist it back around like that. Once I get one side off, all I have to do is pull this and the other side comes off. So this goes pretty quickly. The part that takes more time is so see i can just flip this off like that and now it's off so while it holds on really well when it's fastened it comes off pretty easily parts that takes a little bit more time is when i'm down on the bottom along the ground trying to find the clips and then trying to twist this around with the, the ground there so i'm working at it jacob's working on the t-post staples Joshua is trimming around here so we can actually see the staples and then I'm going to go ahead and start working on these uh, wood staples here right here while he, he does that and he does that.
So in about an hour, a little bit less than, we got the fence taken down um, over where that gate is, around this corner here, and then over to where we put up, um, we rolled it up and put it over there. So, like I said, I am probably, I'm gonna turn the camera around, I'll show you why I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I am probably going to rototill this one more time. You can see grass is starting to come up, and over in that section, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I think that's milkweed um, coming up. So I'm gonna rototill this one more time and actually see if I can try to level it a little bit better. I don't know if the camera shows it at all, but it's definitely higher here and then it drops off to there. So the more I can pull from here to there and kind of get this a little bit more level, I think the easier installation will go, but um, just getting it rototilled I think will help a ton. So that's the plan. I'm also going to probably have the kids, him included, start going through and picking up all these rocks in here. So we're not dealing with those. But so uh, that is it for tonight. Uh, just a really quick video. We're going to four days from now. We're going to have our nifty hoops high tunnel. It's uh, if you go to their website, it's just uh, niftyhoops.com. And then their Gothic high tunnel is the one that we're getting. It's going to be 32 feet wide by 70 feet long. We're going to have end walls on both. So an eight foot by eight foot um, door on both ends that I could drive the tractor through. And then a man door that I can um, just walk through uh, when I don't have the, um, the big door open. And then it's also going to have um, the spot up top for an exhaust fan. So if I ever wanted to put one of those in, I could um, bolt it into there to try to help get heat out faster. It'll have the roll-up sides. I'm not doing the automatic roll-up sides. That's expensive. I'm doing the crank-up sides. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really exciting. And then the following Monday, um, my NRCS agent is coming out to take a look, make sure that everything is good, and then I can get uh, reimbursed with the grant um which will be really good so that's the plan if you got any questions let me know like i said it's an nrcs grant uh i think it's called an e e equip equip um it's not spelled it's like eqip i think um but if you contact your nrcs your county if you have one in the county or region they can help you out with setting it up um my agent helped me fill out all the paperwork and got everything in it took about i think it was three years um, in order to be approved for the grant. It just depends on what area you're in and how many applications go in and stuff like that. So, um, but I'm really excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Come along. If you haven't already, subscribe because we're gonna be having a lot of um, videos with installing the high tunnel, using the high tunnel, all of the things that I'm gonna be able to do with the high tunnel. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And as always, God bless you and your family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.